75 Hard. A dad's transformation. Hi everyone. Welcome to day 19 of 75 Hard A Dad's Transformation Story. Oh man, as I said in day 18, it's still, or I'm already at day 21, based on the fact that I wasn't able to get everything done, and I have to come back on track, so I'm going to record three episodes in one day. Awesome. It's already 9.30, I have still one workout opened, and I'm sick. I'm enjoying the heck. But it is what it is. Um, on day 19, I already felt a bit under the weather, but I had to go through it. So I worked from home that day because I had to edit a couple of episodes of other podcasts. Two of them had to go out that w- today. So I was a little bit under pressure to get it out for approval. I got myself an under-the-desk bike a couple of weeks ago just to keep me moving and I feel like when I move my feet I can focus more Um, I talked about it with this under the desk treadmill and this bike is a good alternate a good alternative um, for me for home for my um, desk at home but um, I did that for like one and a half hours but it didn't f- really feel like a workout. I was moving and I thought in, at first, okay, I'm going to use that as my first workout. But then I felt like I cheated a bit. So, um, and I had to walk with the dogs anyway. So I said, okay, F it. I'm going to go through the woods and with the dogs another 50 minutes. Um, that gives me the chance to kind of get my head straight think through all the things I have to do today, get a plan and listen to a bit of the audio book I'm listening in right now. When I came back, I was starving and the only thing that was here was bread and peanut butter, no jelly. So I ate like two slices of bread with peanut butter, which is dry, so dry and it sticks to your gums and... (laughs) Even when it tastes good, it's pretty pretty difficult to chew on. But again, that gave me the chance to kind of go through my gallon of water. And I think when I was done with the bread, um, I already downed like half of the gallon to accompany this chewy stuff. And for the US people listening in, our bread is different over here. So we actually have to chew and it's not as like soft. Potentially pretty be heavily surprised when you <laughs> uh, eat our bread. My my sleep schedule is so effed up right now. I think my I'm averaging uh, let me take a look in my in my um Fitbit. Yeah, I'm averaging four and a half hours of sleep over the last I would say seven days. That's because there's so much going on um with the kids in the afternoons. And I have so much other stuff going on in the morning that I'm not able to get my stuff done. And so I have to do like pretty heavy night shifts. And it's um, exhausting and obviously it's not helping my cold. And I need to get this under control because I'm exhausted. And I feel that if I'm going to continue that, I'm of the edge of failing, not because I'm not willing to kind of get the work in based on the fact that my body says, okay, I need a break because you're not giving me what I need and you over you overwork me. And um, I need to be careful here because I don't want that to be the reason why I'm failing. I'm not going to fail. I, that's a fact, but I need to, I need to take care of my sleeping schedule. And four hours is definitely not enough. I was already annoyed about myself when I was averaging six hours, which is not. But that was a result of staying on the couch too long, binging. And now I'm sitting in front of my computer working. Anyhow, let's go through the list really quick. Under the desk bike, 
walk with the dogs and since I didn't feel like the under the desk bike was a proper workout which um or didn't felt like it I put on another 45 minutes of water rowing at night I didn't cheat I didn't have any alcohol I stick to my diet we had a super super late dinner I read my 10 pages I took the picture still no real movement on the scale and I I think I need to kind of rethink and I feel I need to rethink my food intake and I I'm I'm confused because um on my kind of over the thumb consume of like calories I think I'm still in a heavy deficit but there is no movement maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm just overeating still even when I'm not consuming sweets but I'm more carb heavy and maybe that is not the way it should go but I need to figure that out in the next couple of days anyhow checked off that list made it through day 19 thank you for tuning in here tomorrow bye <laughs>